Boiler Room Blast atop a Sunny Isles Beach high rise injures six people. Chopper 4 live over the scene that has had our attention for hours today. It's a story that is still developing tonight. Two firefighters are among the injured. The explosion happened at around noon today along the Collins Avenue and 174th Street area. CBS 4's Joan Murray is there live and she starts our team coverage. Joan. Well, you can see it is still a very active scene, Rick, here at the building. Take a look behind me. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue continues to do their investigation. A1A remains shut down. Now let's take a look at the scene from overhead and Chopper 4. Uh, we are told at this point that they are trying to secure that concrete on top of the building. Uh, a special crew will be brought in tomorrow to keep it secure. This all happened at high noon. People around here say they felt building shakes. Some people thought a bomb had gone off. Some people thought it could possibly be a terrorist attack. None of that proved to be true. This was an explosion inside the building where workers were doing their job. Sound like a bomb. Just before noon, an explosion rocked the nearly completed Chateau High Rise on Sunny Isles Beach. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a, it was a huge bang. I'm not sure if there were people. A big chunk of the top of the building on the top floor just came yanking down. I'm talking about a big concrete chunk. Pieces of the, of the top are shattered on top of the Monaco Hotel. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says an explosion happened in the boiler room of the building. A large gaping hole could be seen on the side and concrete debris on a landing. Water could be seen rushing out of pipes. It was crazy, just people running around, worried, and then a lot of uh, firefighters. Then this street always has a lot of traffic, so that was a problem to get through. I thought it was an accident. And uh, I turned away, and then I looked again, and I saw debris flying from going down on top of that hotel. The Monaco Motel next door was occupied. Fire Rescue says six people in total were hurt. One person was transported to Ryder Trauma Center and two people were also transported uh, as trauma alerts to Aventura Medical Center. Um, there were also reports of uh, two firefighters that were injured on this call. They are very stable at this time um, and require minimal uh, attention. Back here live with Chopper 4 overhead once again. Uh, firefighters continue to uh, examine the building to make sure it is structurally sound. A work crew will come in tomorrow to try to clean up some of the debris on the side. Once again, six people injured back here live. Uh, fortunately, uh, none of the firefighters were hurt seriously, but that one person does remain at Jackson Memorial Hospital in very serious condition. We understand that he was a plumber working in that section of the building. Reporting live on Sunny Isles Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.